I'm making matzo brai. See, I'm going to add my own little version of matzo brai because I'm here on the on the boat. So I have like different things. We we run on solar a lot with the refrigerator, and this is our usual refrigerator. It's over here. I like this our, our 70s counter. And, um, but right now we're running solar on everything, and I was going to make some matzo brai, and I wanted to use my my waffle. My waffle iron. Oops, sorry. Yeah, my my waffle iron. Anyway, I showed I showed it before. Ooh, loud. Sorry. <laughs> and um, and make make the matzo brai just just regular with the crackers and put it in the water and let it soften. Sometimes I take because I I have my my tea in the water so I'll, I'll use this this to soak the soak the matzo in I've seen them soak it in in lots of different things to make savory matzo and and uh, and then I I found that I found in my in my store this birch benders and what a monk fruit what a monk fruit yep and um, when I put it in in the refrigerator, see it's getting soft now. When I put it in the refrigerator, it kind of got a little frozen, but it's sugar free, zero zero sugars, zero sugars. I don't I don't. That's on there too. So, and um and it has that. And I've been using it instead of honey in a lot of things, in making my my granola, putting it on my cornbread that I made last night. 